Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been doing a ton of jewelry videos recently. I figured it was time to finally share where I store all of these pieces that I've been sharing. If you guys are new to my channel and you love jewelry, make sure you subscribe. I've been doing jewelry collections, hauls, all the above. I also do videos on fashion, lifestyle, gluten-free recipes. Um, so if any of that sounds good, make sure you guys subscribe down below and say hi if you're new. But for today, we are talking all about jewelry organization and storage. I'm a very organized person. I like things to be a certain way. I am a Virgo. So so you guys will be seeing that today, but before we get into it, I want to share that today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa, which we all know and love. If you don't, it's because you're new to my channel. They are a jewelry brand based in New York, and they're a sustainable jewelry brand, which makes them even more amazing. They have everything from everyday staples to funner pieces that you can wear on special occasions or in the summertime. I think it's a great time to kind of experiment with new jewelry, like I'm wearing these little pearl hoops today. These are the Frida hoops, the medium Frida hoops. I think they look really nice with a bathing suit at the beach or just like with the summer dress. But I also have these Milan green earrings and I think these are so fun for the summer. I love to get things with pops of green because I do have green eyes. So those will be really fun this season. Like I said, it's fun to experiment with new pieces this time of year. But then lastly, I got this stunning ring. It's called the Jax ring. I love this crisscross style. It's timeless, gorgeous, and elegant on its own, but also looks great layered with others. And it's just a great piece. And I do have a code for you guys. It's JamieRay10 that will also be linked below if you guys are interested in picking anything up. It's a great place to get gifts because they have really something for everybody. Thank you to Ana Luisa for collaborating with me on today's video. Let's go ahead and get into the jewelry organization. I hope you guys enjoy. So first up is the way that I store my necklaces. I personally think it's the hardest thing to put away and organize without looking too cluttery. I really didn't want them on display like hanging or anything. There's just too many for them to remain looking nice. So I found Found this hanger <laughs> it is a hanger I found it on Amazon it's like 12 bucks I still have it I've had it for years just put them on this and then you tuck it away in the corner and you only have to see it when you need it there are some that are layered on the same velcro little hanger that's all this is velcro so they're really easy to take on and off the most I have on a few of them is three or four um, and I haven't had any get tangled, so that's great. It's always the worst when your necklaces get knots or if they get all tangled together. That hasn't happened here. These are probably my most worn necklaces, so they're in the front right now. Um, this is what faces the front when it's hung in the closet. I have these bigger chain necklaces that I don't wear very often, so they're in the back. The other side just has some plastic pockets, and all of these pieces in here are things that I really don't wear often, but I don't want to get rid of because you never know when you're going to need them or if they're going to come back in style or something like that, you know? So everything on this side, I rarely grab unless I'm like, oh, I think I have something for this event. I can grab it back here. I have more like special occasion pieces and, um, you know, random old things that aren't really in style anymore, but you just never know. So this is kind of where things go to retire almost until they're needed again. 12 bucks, you can't beat it. And it's tucked away not causing any mess, not causing any clutter anywhere. So like I said, these few pieces right here are my most worn, so I usually just grab them um, pretty easy without even taking the hanger out. So yeah, just blends right in with the black section. <laughs> Of course, I have it color coordinated, you guys. Like, come on. I have a closet tour if you guys are interested in that. I'll link it below. But yeah, great find and great if you want to stay organized if you have a lot of jewelry. And moving over here, we have my vanity, which I have a dish on. <laughs> One thing about me, guys, I love a dish. I got this at the store Goodies in LA. You can also buy it online. It's a stunning, like, block marble catch-all kind of thing. <laughs> I don't even know what they call it. It's a catch-all, basically. Um, but it was only $20, and it's heavy-duty. Definitely feels more expensive. So everything in here is my current most worn jewelry. So this is where I keep things that I grab for every day, things that I wear a lot, and I also put new pieces in here sometimes. So if I get a few new pieces, just like those little Milan green earrings that are right there. I keep it in here so that I can grab for it easier and it just looks really pretty too. So I really love the way all the gold looks in this dish. They did have a like cream white colored marble as well. And while we're at my vanity, I have some earrings in this drawer. Um, I got all of these like acrylic cube organizers on Amazon. I will link them below for you guys. Um, I have just some more earrings in here. These don't really qualify as everyday pieces, but also they don't deserve to be in the retirement section yet either. They're easy to grab if I do want to wear them, but they're not in like the daily section, you know? 
Um, do you guys think I'm insane? I might be insane. But anyways, this organizer I believe is from the container store, but the rest of all of these are all from Amazon. So they all came in one set. Um, these like little square ones, this longer one, these rectangular ones, which is what I have for my earrings and my sunglasses. Um, really easy, keeps everything in place and organized and just easy as that. Honestly, it might seem crazy, but it makes your life so much easier to be organized. Like it's easy to find things. You don't lose stuff all the time. Now I'm not saying organization will solve all of your stress and your worries, but it might take some of it away because I feel like whenever you have a lot going on and you're overstimulated, stressed out, cleaning or, you know, getting rid of some things, purging, getting some organization going can bring you some type of peace in, you know, this life that we live. Can't control much really, but you can control how clean your space is and how organized. And that brings me peace. I don't know, spoken like a true freak. <laughs> and like I said, I love a catch-all dish. It could be from Home Goods, Kohl's, or TJ Maxx, one of the three. They're years old, but I guarantee you, you'll be able to find something like these at any of those stores. This is where I keep them on this shelf with all of my perfume. Um, it's right next to my vanity. It's easy to grab while I'm getting ready. I put on all of my jewelry and my perfume um, when I'm heading out the door. I'm not somebody that sleeps with my jewelry or showers or does anything with it. I love to take it off at the end of the day. If you're like that, let me know in the comments and if you sleep in your jewelry, also let me know. I'm just kind of curious on the general consensus on that. I'm gonna pull these down so you guys can see them a little bit better. So I do wear a lot of these often, but some of them, not so much, but I still like to have them on hand. Um, my dainty, smaller earrings, little hoops, little um, huggies, pieces like that that are of the smaller variety go into this dish. And then in this one, I keep my rings. So I have some of my daily rings in the gray dish over here, but the rest of my rings are all in here. So um, they are, you know, pretty easy to find, pretty easy to grab. In this one, I have one of my watches and some bracelets. Again, I have a few bracelets in, well, I guess just one, one bracelet in this gray dish. This one's actually from Anna Luisa. It's a watch strap bracelets. Stunning. I keep the rest of them in here. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some ideas for your own organization at home. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment below. Say hi. I would love to hear from you guys. And make sure you guys check out Anna Luisa before you go. My code is JamieRay10. Everything will be linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello.